are you making a 2D platformer? Does it need a simple cutscene animation? Then you are in the right place. In this video, I am gonna show you how to make this simple cutscene camera animation in Unity using Cinemachine and some simple code. So let's get into the video. So I have a small scene set up here with the cube as a player in his gorgeous world. I have a box collider 2D and a rigid body 2D components attached to my player. And I have placed our enemy right next to him. So one of the main part of making a cutscene like this is making a trigger area. When the player enters the trigger area, the camera should pan to the cutscene and after it finishes, it should go back to our player. So for that, let's make an empty game object and call it trigger area. Let's add a box collider 2D component to that. To make it a trigger area, we need to check the trigger checkbox. After that, place it where you want the cutscene to start. I'm placing it somewhere around here. Ok, everything is set up. Now let's make a C sharp script to move our player left and right using arrow keys. For that, I am making a C sharp script called player movement and attaching it to our player. Double click and open it in Visual Studio. We need a speed value to determine the speed of our player. So type public float speed. Next, initialize a move input float variable which is need not be public. And also we need our player's rigid body, I am calling it rb. In start function type rb equal to get component rigid body 2d. This will assign the rigid body 2d component which is attached to our player to the rb variable. We need to make the update to fixed update since we are dealing with physics functions here. In the fixed update, we are going to assign the key inputs to our move input variable. Then type rb.velocity is equal to new vector to in brackets move input into speed which is x speed, comma rb.velocity.y which is y speed. Here we are not changing any y direction speeds. Save that, get back to Unity and type the speed value for our player. I am giving it done here. Then hit play. As you can see, now we can move our player using arrow keys. Next is the main part of the video, which is activating the cutscene. We are not using already existing camera in Unity for that. We are using Cinemachine. So to install Cinemachine, go to Window, Package Manager and select Unity Registry from the drop down menu. Then you can see Cinemachine. Click Install. This will take a minute. After installation, you can see a new drop down menu will pop up near the component. A bunch of options will appear in the menu, which I will discuss in another video. Now click on the create state driven camera. A new cinemation game object will appear in the hierarchy. Just drag and drop a main camera inside the cinemation game object. Now we need to assign the follow of cinemation as our player. For that, select cmvcam1 game object and drag and drop our player to the follow section. Now hit play. As you can see, now the camera follows our player. Next, let's make a C-sharp script called camcontrol and open it in Visual Studio. This script is responsible for changing the camera position when the player reaches the trigger area. We need to access Cinemachine in the script. For that, type using and namespace Cinemachine. Delete start and update methods. We don't need that right now. So what we are gonna do here is, we are going to switch the Cinemachine follow object from player to the enemy and after 2 seconds back to our player. It's that simple. So type public Cinemachine virtual camera VC camera. We need our player and enemy game objects here and also a public bool to restrict the movement of the player when the cutscene is playing. Cool. So I'm gonna write a coroutine called cutscene coroutine and inside I'm gonna assign the follow of the cinemation camera to enemy's position. And also making the player movement bool to true. Then wait for 2 seconds which is sealed return new wait for seconds in brackets. Two. And after that, make the stop player movement bool false. 
change the virtual camera follow to our player and disable our trigger area. We are deactivating it because we don't need to play the cutscene every time the player goes through that area. Now call the coroutine when our player enters the area. For that type void on trigger end 2D in brackets collider 2D space other. Inside type start coroutine cutscene coroutine. Remember the boolean we set up for stopping the moment of the player. We need to add that here in our player moment script. We need to take the trigger area game object here and get the cam control script. From there we can access the public boolean. We need to move our player only if the boolean is false. Make an if statement and put our movement code inside it. The condition in if statement is cam control dot stop player movement equal to false. And else return. Save that get back to unity assign all the objects we referenced in the scripts. A virtual camera, player, enemy and a hit trigger. Now hit play. As you can see our camera pans to the enemy and after 2 seconds back to our player. And also the player is not moving while the cutscene is happening. And the cutscene is not activating more than one time. Cool. You can create an animation and trigger it inside the coroutine if you want. And that's it. That's the end of this video. I know I took a long break from YouTube and all these months so many people watched my videos and wrote good comments. And the channel earned a lot of subscribers too. Thanks everyone for your support and I hope I can make videos so often. Special thanks to Ichi for their support on Patreon. And thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.